In your search for exoplanets, you also study the stars. Could you explain about this research? In our research, we also study the host stars of the exoplanets because we wanted to investigate whether small planets need a special environment in which to form. Previous research has shown that gas giant planets like Jupiter in our own solar system preferentially form around stars with a high content of heavy elements. The NASA Kepler mission has now discovered over 2,000 small exoplanet candidates, which allows us to study the host stars of these small planets. How are planets formed around stars? Planets are formed from the collapse of dust and gas into a thin disk. In the center, a star is formed, and it's surrounded by a rotating disk of material of gas and dust. This gas and dust collides and sticks into smaller pebbles, and which eventually form the planets. So what does your new research show? Our work shows that small planets seem to form around stars with a wide range in heavy element content, ranging from stars with a rich in heavy element content to stars that are poor in heavy element content. In other words, small planets do not seem to require a special environment in which to form, and so they could be widespread in our galaxy. So what does this mean for the search of exoplanets? The fact that small planets do not seem to require a special environment in which to form means that planets like our own Earth could be widespread in our galaxy and thus be common in the universe. This fits well with recent research that shows that small terrestrial-sized planets are in fact common. In fact, small planets seem to be the rule, not the exception.